flanked between two ruggedly handsome towns is the Million Dollar Highway. 25 miles of unrelenting scenic beauty so mesmerizing who wouldn't be captivated. You gotta drive this to see this. But there is an element of risk driving the million dollar highway. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why we took this risk and the rewards that come with the best Colorado has to offer. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jason. We love to travel. We especially love road trips and I love making videos. So today's plan is to one, experience the million dollar highway, two, visit two mountain towns, and three, be completely immersed in fall color. Located in the southwest corner of Colorado, Silverton to the south, Uray to the north, is the Million Dollar Highway. We are starting from the north, and once I saw this view, I knew we were entering something pretty spectacular. So what's funny is, as a kid, if you asked me to draw something, my go-to drawing was snow-capped mountains with a few pine trees and then this meandering road that disappears into the distance. So this right here is basically my mountain drawing coming to life. Kind of crazy, right? Before things get risky, I want to introduce you to O-U-R-A-Y, Ure. Because no matter what, you will be passing through this town. We were greeted with that true mountain ambiance. Low-rise architecture, mainly brick buildings, some with wood siding, proper high elevation paint colors. What does that even mean? Anyway, I thought it sounded cool. And mountains all around. You're right, it's everything I imagined a mountain town to be. Hop in for a quick drive. At the north end of town, there's a visitor center with the most friendly staff. And right next door, the must visit Ure Hot Springs Pool. Uh, it's actually a complex of pools. There's there are water slides, there's a lap pool, but what makes the Ure pools so unique are the minerals that are in the water. It's virtually sulfur free, so there is no rotten egg smell. Definitely worth checking out. Some of the hotels have luxury spots. You might want to check it out. You have places to rent ATVs. Maybe there are more. This is all I could see. We stopped at the Timberline Deli for a lovely sandwich with a non-functioning chairlift and million dollar views. Down the street, more restaurants, bars, art galleries, boutique shops. is pretty much non-stop once you're in the middle of town. Approaching the south end of town, there are a number of accommodations, but there are several others scattered throughout the town. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever been to your Ray? If you have, what are your favorite places to eat and where did you stay? We stayed just north of town at the Ure Riverside Resort because we are in our RV next to the Uncompagre River. It's so peaceful and relaxing and to hear the water rushing by, oh, love it it's time to drive. The Million Dollar Highway is famously known for clinging to cliffs and we are on the side of the road that can be quite scary with no guardrails. So anyway, let's go. We barely drove one minute so we had to stop at this viewpoint before we left Ure. Uh, I'm gonna take a photo. Trust me, if this is your first time driving the Million Dollar Highway, you are also gonna stop many times. Jason's pro tip, number one, keep in mind you will be sharing the road with daily commuters. Don't be the one that holds up traffic. Use the pullouts. Our first major stop, Bear Creek Falls Lookout Point. We had no idea this was just a sneak peek of the rewarding scenery up ahead. 
and a place to learn about the man who envisioned connecting the world to this part of Colorado. Between 1882 and 1883, Otto Mears, here's how you spell it, built the Ure and Red Mountain Toll Road, which at that time was 12 miles long and cost $10,000 per mile. If I do the mm -hmm. math correctly, $10,000 mm -hmm. times 12 miles, that would be $120,000. Mm -hmm. Not quite a million. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. with inflation, mm -hmm. $120,000 back in 1883 would mm -hmm. cost $3.8 million Whoa. today in Whoa. 2024. That's crazy. Yeah. Is that the reason it's called the Million Dollar Highway? Honestly, I have no idea. But the views are worth a million dollars, maybe even a billion. This is the risky part of the drive. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to pay attention. Need to, pay attention to roads. So. Particularly for those of us whose daily commute does not include driving on the edge of a cliff. Nope. Like I said earlier, Driving southbound on the Million Dollar Highway puts you on the outside lane with no guardrails and no shoulder. Let's dissect this for a minute and I'm going to draw a cross section here at mile 90. And let's expand this a bit. So you have this rock face here and then you have the edge, then a 1,000 foot drop off. My calculations tell me there is no room for error. My heart is racing. I feel dizzy, my palms are sweating. But then I remembered why we are doing this. Under no circumstances, risk for reward. I need to push through to experience the finest scenery Colorado has to offer. 26 years ago, I bought my first camera. The reason was to take a photo like this. I was captivated by the silky smooth flowing water and wanted to achieve the same effect. The million dollar highway is truly a photographer's heaven. and I almost fell to my death. Jason's pro tip number two, don't fall off the side of a mountain, period. But hey, I didn't die and you're watching this video. I'm getting a bit anxious here. Are we ever gonna see a tree canopy of fall colors? I mean, don't get me wrong, everything we've seen so far has been incredible. Oh my gosh. I am not kidding. This is probably the most beautiful drive we have done on this trip, the million dollar highway. I think nobody should miss traveling this million dollar highway in the fall. This is stunning. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. How great it is. 50 feet again and then stop and then 25 feet and then stop because every 20 feet is something amazing in fall color. I can't believe we're here right now. This is so gorgeous. I just talked to this lady and she said if I keep walking about three quarters of a mile, I will get to some amazing fall colors. Ooh, sorry, my nose is running. Dude, look at that. Man, amazing. What? All right, well, I ended up turning around because this is kind of sufficient enough, right? Everyone around here is in hiking boots. I'm just in regular, like, shoes, whatever. Dude, I am just surrounded in fall color. Look to the left, look to the right. It's fall color all around. No joke, you guys, we are seeing incredible fall color. There's snow right back there, but look at this fall color. Holy cow. This is mile marker 82. And that mill over there, that's like really stunning. Benji, what do you think of the fall colors?
Well, we are here in Silverton and it looks like the colors are past peak on the mountain. I love all the colorful buildings. The mining style architecture. Do you think Silverton's the most charming of all of these? I love this little town, really love it. Yeah, yeah. same here. It's a gorgeous town. Silverton, absolutely love it. It is a historic mining town and it doesn't feel fake. It feels like a real historic town. It's awesome. And you can take the train from Durango to Silverton and then take the train back to Durango on the same day. So if you're staying in Durango, that's something you might wanna think about. After taking the scenic train, the museum should be your next stop with vintage forms of transportation and my absolute favorite, an awesome model train layout. There he is. How'd you get up there? The other side. Where? The other side. Oh, sweet. I can't wait to share our next road trip adventure with you. Don't forget to smile. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any comments you'd like to leave, leave it down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it helps me to create more creative and entertaining videos for you to watch. See you in the next one.